Hey, what's up everybody? This is Josh here with the Go Calkin channel. And today, you already see by the title, uh, we are unboxing this Arma Creighton EXB. I have really wanted this thing for a long, long time and they were out of stock. And my guess was because they were fixing the differential issue that they had with them. I saw that it went back in stock, purchased it right away. And even if the issue uh, was still there, you know, it was something I was willing to go ahead and look into and try to fix myself. But hopefully the diffs are good and Arma actually fixed this thing before uh, putting out another batch. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed so you guys can see it. Let me take my hoodie off. All right. There it is, right on top. Let's see if I can get this lifted up out of here and then I'll set it back up. There's the outside of the box. I'm just gonna pan around real quick. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know I don't have the greatest lighting other than what's, uh, what's under here, but there's that side. Underneath. All right, I know you guys just wanna see what it looks like, so let's see. Get the tape ripped off there. And there. Okay. Oh, all right. Let me bring the camera in for you. Look at that. That thing is clean looking. All right. Let me finish getting out of the box. Oh, there it is. Let's get this box up out of the way. Oh man. That looks super nice. Look how grippy those tires are. Woo, that thing looks good. It looks real mean up front. Very nice, very nice. Here's the rear. Wow. Looks really nice. You can see the shocks are fully enclosed here. Keep dust out. And then the rear differential, I'm gonna take a look at that, make sure that that's good. But man, this thing looks really nice. Really, really nice. All right, let's get the body off here. This body looks so good, I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> All right. So here's what it looks like inside. Battery compartment here. Looks like you've got some extra length. Well, that's kind of nice little clip for the wires. Receiver box, servo mount, motor mount on the other side. Let's get this spin around here. Awesome, looks super, super nice. Sway bars in the back, you guys can see that there. Shocks feel really, really soft. A little bit lighter in the front, it feels like. This aluminum plate, it's supposed to be a higher grade aluminum. It's actually really, really light. Uh, of course, there's no electronics in it, but it's not gonna get that much heavier. Yeah, I cannot wait to get this thing installed with the electronics and rolling. Super nice. Let's check out the bottom real quick. Sorry about the camera work for you guys. Nice and flat. That's cool. 
All right, let's see what else comes in the box. Should just be <clears throat> manual tools, add extra shim for tighter gear mesh. That's interesting. For the differential. So they give you extra shims. Huh. I guess that is uh, new. But... All right, let me, um, let me grab the electronics and show you guys what we're gonna be putting in this thing. Here's everything that came inside of the uh, little packet here. So you've got the instruction manual, warranty information, some uh, various, what are these called, caps? These go inside the shocks if you want to tune how, uh, how soft they are. The fluid will go through these little holes and the more holes you have, the easier the fluid will pass through that, making the shock softer. Um, you got a tool bag. I've got pretty much every tool that's in here, so I'll keep that in the bag for spares. Comes with a pinion, so we might use that. We might use our own, we'll see. Some stickers, and then yeah, I think, I think this is new. So add extra shim for tighter gear mesh, and then there's a part number for it. So we'll definitely be taking a look at our gears, checking the mesh, making sure that it's uh, nice and snug without uh, without binding. So there's that. And then the electronics we're going to use are in here. <clears throat> so I'm going to be using a 1717 motor. This is what I was using in the Arma Limitless before I upgraded the motor in there. Also have a um, Arma heatsink with an armor fan, a stock armor fan right now. And if you're curious what those part numbers are, here they are. There's the heat sink. <clears throat> There's the fan set. So I'm gonna be putting that in. And then this also came out of the Limitless when I was going for speed runs. Um, we have this plug here for a cap pack, but uh, I'm not gonna be using that in this. So I've got that taped off. And we can run up to 8S in this setup. So, um, we're going to start with 4S, and that's why I've got this jumper. Uh, I made this yesterday. Um, connect that into here, and then we connect a, a 3 or a 4S battery in on that side. Um, but then we'll run it on 8S after we, after we get comfortable with the truck. Um, but it's going to be running censored. The fan, we're going to hook up on a switch so I can turn the motor fan on and off. Because if I'm just driving around, not really going... Uh, you know, real hard on the throttle. I want to kind of drive, you know, kind of quiet. And then the castle link, um, this did not work with the XLX2. There's something uh, something wrong with this being in between the XLX2 and the receiver. So um, it worked fine with the uh, Mama Monster X 8S. So we'll get this hooked back into this system. Uh, that way, any adjustments I want to make on the fly, I can use the app on my phone and that Bluetooth link to get it all working. I'm waiting for a servo. That's gonna be coming in the mail today. Um, actually, in just a second, you guys will see it. All right, so while I'm waiting on the uh, servo to come in the mail, I started putting this thing together and I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. This fan and this motor is actually getting in the way of where this part is up here. So where the um, body, rests on um, that pin and the pin just barely clears the motor but this whole part right here um, gets in the way of this fan mount so i'm going to need something a little bit shorter uh, I, don't, I don't know if i want to try to cut this one up probably not but i'll look online see what we've got as far as shorter fans and other fan options for this size motor and then we'll be able to fit the fan kind of a little bit back it's not gonna be able to you know dissipate heat as well as uh, you know I want it to but a little bit is better than none at all so just wanted to give you guys a heads up there go ahead and continue working on putting this together and I'll show you guys the end result all right quick update got the servo in the mail this is the Savix should be this 2290 Yep, SG, this is the waterproof version. So perfect for this. Um, 
In order to mount this ESC, I had to grind down a piece on the ESC mount and then I mounted it in this direction. So if you guys wanted to take note, you know, you can do that there. And then of course, with these wires over here, I'll make sure that they're clear of the steering and the steering uh, servo. So they're gonna end up going over here to the receiver box. You'll see when it's done, it's gonna be nice and neat, tidy. Uh, we'll keep at it. All right, so just a quick heads up here. Um, pretty bad design with the servo um, mount. If you have any wires that come out through the side like that, the tolerance left and right there is, is too tight. Um, you can't get that wire through. So I did have to take a Dremel, grind away some of the um, aluminum right in this area underneath that uh, plastic cover. So the red piece or the red part of it right under there to give room for the wires to come through. Thankfully I didn't damage the wires and now I can get this put into the Creighton. All right, you guys, so I got this in the mail just a few moments ago. So that's the DX5 Rugged. And we're gonna be using this with the Creighton. And depending on how much I like it, I'll end up buying receivers for my other vehicles, um, like I already mentioned, so. Don't see any tape. Okay, there we go. Just pop it open. It's like we have a pretty thick manual when it comes to uh, receivers. Take that off so it's well protected. That's good to see. And here it is. So initial reaction. It's got good feel. Good feel in the hand. Um, it's got these rubber, you know, pads all around to. Keep it protected in case you uh you know knock it over whatever the compartment back here and you do have the ability to steer one-handed if you you know want to record in one hand steer at the other or of course you could just do that so um this is not going to be a video you know reviewing uh, this particular uh remote but you know wanted to wanted to at least show you guys what i'm going to be running with this also if you're curious, they did update the touch pad here, um, I guess from a previous version. If you go on Amazon, you order this yourself, you might see the old touch pad, and that's, I was kind of curious about if they would send me the old model or not, but this is the newer model of the DX5, so much better touch pad there, so that's really good to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed into the truck, and we'll be able to show you guys the truck running. All right, you guys, so this is the first run, so. Um, I did have to go ahead and reverse the steering, but the throttle was okay. So let's see. And this is running on just 4S right now. All right. Forgive the mess. Oh yeah, I didn't even, here, let's do this real quick. Um, castle link, make sure everything's set up. There we go. Ugh. Okay. already flipped it <laughs> oh well that's what it's for right <laughs> The shocks seem really, really nice.
All right, so I, good thing I just noticed. Um, looks like we still don't have a reverse. Oh, there we go. So our braking isn't that high. So that was that setting earlier. Not that one. No. Is it this one? There we go. There we go. This thing handles really nice. I was wondering if it can wheelie at all. Looks like it can. On 4S at least. All right, let's go ahead and bring it in. So right now, I don't have a fan on it, so I am curious uh, to see how hot the motor is with just that little bit of running. And it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit out right now. Uh, there it is. So let's get the tent gun on the motor. We'll turn it on. And it's just a, kind of a little bit of reflective service, not bad. It's only 87, so not bad the XL or not this isn't the XL it's the Mamba Monster X 8S it's only 88 so I wasn't really running it very hard at all but in case you guys were curious for that little bit of run that's that's the uh, the temps were running wires are fine connectors fine yeah everything's good so all right let's gonna shut it off and we'll shut this off Cool. So that's it, you guys. Um, <laughs> the new toy. Um, I will definitely be doing more videos with this. I'm going to put 8S in it, see how it holds up. I'll probably run 4S for a little bit, probably do a couple of jumps in the backyard um, with the ramp. But yeah, this is, uh, this is totally awesome. So if you enjoyed this unboxing, quick build, and first run of the Creighton, definitely let me know by leaving a like, comment, any questions that you have, anything you want me to uh, take a look at, and let you guys know of, um, yeah, just leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you guys have any tips for upgrades, of course, this is supposed to be fully upgraded, but you know, there's always something that you can do to improve these. Um, definitely let me know in the comments below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.